Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of our Android video player application tutorial. In the previous part, we saw how we can uh, implement our app to show the video files inside a recycler view with the thumbnails and the video file names. So in this video, we're going to see how we can implement the on-click listener and play the videos inside the video view. Okay, so let's get started. So at first we need to implement the on click listener for our recycler view items. So for this we need to create a new on click listener. So here I am going to create a new Java class. I will call this uh, select listener and that will be a interface. So I will just click here. So here we have this select listener interface and inside this interface i'm going to create a new method i'll call this uh, void on file clicked and here i'll pass a file all right and now we can implement this interface inside our adapter so i'll go inside this uh, custom adapter and inside here i'll define the on select listener sorry the select listener so i'll write uh, private select listener i'll call this let's say listener okay and we also need to add this inside our constructor so i'll just copy this and i'll add this here after a comma okay and we need to also add this inside here so i'll write this dot listener equals listener all right and then we need to go all the way down to here inside this on bind view holder and here i'll write holder dot our card view that we initialized earlier in the previous video so holder dot card view dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and inside this on click method we'll call our listener dot on file clicked and here we need to pass the video file so for this i'll write files dot get from position okay so that's it for our custom adapter now we can add this method inside our uh, main activity so I'll go inside our main activity dot Java here and here at top I'll write here implements the select listener so I'll write uh, select listener and as you can see it's showing an error because we need to implement the method so I'll just click on here and it's asking to implement the methods I'll click here I'll just select this one and click on OK. So that will create this on file click method here. And as you can see, we are getting an error here inside the custom adapter. This is because we have updated the constructor of our custom adapter here. Uh, previously, we were passing only the context and the file list. And now we also need to pass a listener. So I'll go back here in the main activity and here for the third parameter i'll pass the listener i'll pass this okay so now insert this on file clicked what i will do here is i'll open a new activity where the video will be played inside the video player view so for this we need to create a new activity so i'll go here create a new activity empty activity I'll call this player activity okay and I'll click on finish so once our layout is ready at first let's go to the activity player.xml file go to split mode so here at first I'll change the root layout to linear layout and then we have to add a video player view inside this layout so for the video player i'm going to use a new library this better video player library 
so I'll give the link of this library in the description from there you have to uh, just copy this dependency I'll copy this and go back to Android studio insert this module level Gradle file here I'll paste it again under this Dexter library that I implemented earlier the uh, first part okay so here I'll change the compile into implementation and then we need to click on sync now okay so once it's done uh, we need to do another thing here as you can see we need to add the Marvin repository link so I'll just copy this go back to the Android studio again and this time we need to open the project level Gradle file and inside here as you can see inside this all projects we have this Google and the J Center so under that we need to paste this Marvin repository link if you already have that then you don't need to paste it okay and then we need to click on sync now all right so once it's done we can close that and here we'll add the video player view so I'll write better video player this one I'll set the width as match parent the height as match parent and then I'll give this better video player an ID I'll call this player and then there are lots of attributes for the XML file you can visit all of them I'll give the link of this library in the description so for this example I'm going to use few of them so as I'm going to write uh, BVP autoplay uh, to true so the video will play automatically by clicking on the video and then we need to implement the gesture to you know uh, fast forward and fast rewind the video by just swiping horizontally so for this I'll write BVP gesture type and here I'll use the swipe gesture to swipe horizontally to you know fast forward and rewind you can also use the double tap gesture this gesture is mainly used uh, like the YouTube app you can double tap to go forward all right I'm using this swipe gesture here and that's it for the UI now we can go to our player activity no at first go to the main activity we have some works left here so here on the on file click method when the user clicks on any of the single file it will initialize this on file click method and in the on file click method we will start the player activity okay so here I'll write uh, start activity and here I'll pass the new intent and here I'll pass main activity dot this to the player activity dot uh, class all right and we need to also put the uh, video files path so that we can load the uh, video from that particular file inside the player activity so for this I'll just go here and create a new line and here I'll write dot put extra and here I'll give a name uh, video and for the value I'll pass file dot get absolute path all right so this path will be now passed with the intent here and we'll receive that inside the player activity so let's go to the player activity now and inside here let's actually define the video player view so I'll write better video player I'll call this player and then we'll also take the file path from the intent so for this I'll write a string uh, file path all right and now let's come into the on create method so here as we are going to play the uh, video inside our uh, player activity so we won't uh, 
want to show the status bar or anything else inside this activity so for this we have to write up here after this super call uh, request uh, window feature and here I'll pass window sorry window dot feature uh, underscore no title all right and then I'll write this dot get window dot uh, set flags and here for the parameter I'll pass uh, window manager window manager dot layout params dot flag full screen flag underscore full screen this one and then window manager dot layout params dot flag full screen again all right so now it don't show any other stuffs except our video player inside this player activity okay so now let's go after this uh, set content view method and here we'll initialize our uh, video player so i'll write player equals find view by id r dot id dot uh, we named that player all right and now let's try to get the file path from the intent so i'll write uh, file path equals get intent dot get string extra and here for the name we passed from the main activity as video so i'll copy this and paste it here all right so now we got this file path inside here now we'll create URI from this file path so I'll write URI I'll name this uh, video URI equals URI dot parse and here I'll pass the file path so I'll write file path okay and then we need to pass this video URI to the player so that our player can play the video file so I'll write player dot set source and here we'll pass this video uri so i'll write uh, video uri okay okay so now at this point if you run the application and play video it will start playing the video and if you press the back button it will stop the video and it will take you to the uh, recycler view where you will see all the videos and while playing a video if you press the home button it will take you to the home but it will keep playing the video in the background so in order to stop that we need to override the on pause method so for this we need to go outside of this on create method first so outside here i'll override the on pause method and here after the super i'll write player dot pause so this will now pause the video if you click on the home button while playing the video and if you don't want to pause the video if you click on the home button then just ignore this part okay so that's it for the video let's run this application again to see if it works or not As you can see our app is now installed and we have all the video files here so if I click on any of the files let's click on this one so as you can see our video is now playing so here is the video and if we want to uh, fast forward this we can just swipe like this and it will do the fast forward here and we can also control the volume by uh, swiping vertically like this okay so that's how we can create a simple video player application for android 
i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then please like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries you can comment down below and thank you so much for watching